This is a right enshrined in our constitution. The constitution also says at Article 1 that the sovereignty in the Republic of Kenya is vested in the people of Kenya. And the people can either exercise it directly or through their elected representatives. Today we have launched the, the, the movement to collect signatures from Kenyans so that they can say that they are withdrawing their, uh, their delegation of powers to the elected leaders and telling it to themselves. It is a part of the history. We know that the authors of our constitution did not put that particular article in vain. And we are going to invoke that article to delegitimize this regime. We will collect signatures from Kenyans, and I've said we will also form an electoral commission, and we will carry out a referendum to delegitimize this regime. Then, the other one is the issue of auditing of the servers. The rest is now history. We will not allow Jubilee, I'm sorry, Kenya Kwanza to kill constituent parties of Azimio. Therefore, and by once again thanking Kenyans for remaining telephones and seldom stay tuned. Thank you very much. Now my colleague, Governor uh, Mangwaria from uh, Moranga County is going to make some remarks. Thank you very much. Uh, it was a long day, but a good day for Kenyans. Uh, today was a learning center of uh, what happened over 30 years ago. It brought me the picture of uh, our third, our leader, Laila Odinga, Kenneth Matiba, Charles Rubia, and the other pioneers of Kenya's second liberation. We all thought that we've taken about 30 democratic, positive democratic steps since that time. But unfortunate, today it was demonstrated that we are still stuck back there. The way Matiba was treated, the way Raira was treated, the way Rubia was treated, was no different from the way we were treated today. The gains which we had accumulated has just been swept away. We started off the day peacefully. We picketed peacefully, but they confronted us right at the start. With the tear gas, we don't know what the cause was, but that demonstrates to us that this is a regime which is 30 years behind. Worst see, the, the, the worst part of it is that when we go to the city, I was with Baba in his vehicle, and we were actually confronted with live bullets. The same log policeman who did it to Baba the other day was on site. He was fully hooded, and he looked like a terrorist. We took videos, and through Baba, we are going to ensure that we pursue that attempted murder. Because the law policeman was surrounded by others, some were on horse tops, and they were ready to kill Baba. You can actually observe the vehicle there. It has a wide bullet hole behind and on the sides. So we are actually dealing with demons who are ready to spill blood. Bloodthirsty animals. But we want to tell them that that has just embodied us. We are stronger than we are. And I also want to announce that this war is a national war. 90% of Kenyans are behind us. I have received calls from Mount Kenya and they are asking us, when are you coming here? We want to announce that we are coming home to Mount Kenya and they are actually 
more willing than anybody else because they are the ones hit by the increased cost of living. We are business people and our people, all our business, businesses are on auction. Lastly, I want to tell everyone that this process of signature collection is a national process and is a volunteer process. Within your small circle, pick the forms and have them signed and get connected to Azimio, bring the forms. It's very purely volunteer. Within your circles, mama borders, chairmen, matato operators, border borders, pick forms and return the forms to us because that will be your voice. Lastly, as we go forward, we know that we are all dead down economically. We want to urge Kenyans not to donate any more money to this regime. We want to urge Kenyans to actually even buy a resource. Everyone should have a whistle. When you have someone wanting to extract more money from you, just blow up the whistle. Alert your neighbors. In the marketplaces, mama borrowers, you are promised heaven. All mama borrowers, all market people should have whistles. When you have those white, uh, uh, yellow, uh, coated, kabuti people, blow whistles, they'll be stealing from you. When someone comes to disconnect your power, blow a whistle, he's stealing from you. When someone comes to disconnect your water, blow a whistle, they are stealing from you. We are not ready to donate any more blood to them. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, back to Baba, or mm. uh, directly to our majority. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, as we had indicated from the outset, today we are simply but the beginning of this new wave of civil disobedience and mass action. And following the resounding success that has been registered across the country, we wish to announce that we are going to continue in this journey. We are going to continue and come next week, the 12th of July 2023, that is Wednesday. We are going to have even more serious demonstrations across the country. We are going to have massive demonstrations across the country. And in Nairobi, those demonstrations are going to be, pre be preceded by a massive public rally at Kamkunji. At Kamkunji. And let me say this, that the role of the police in this matter is simply to provide security to the peaceful demonstrators and assemblers. We are not giving a notice as a way of seeking permission from anybody, least of all the police. So stop wasting time with those baseless proclamations that you continue to make every other day. We don't need those proclamations from the police. We have simply notified you that come the earliest day, the whole country will come to a standstill as Kenyans of all walks of life participate in massive demonstrations in every wood and breath of the country. And this is going to continue until the end. There is no stopping in this end. Thank you very much. God bless. Thank you. I think that's all. And uh, I want to request only camera persons to come out, the, out here because you'll be shown the extent that the police have done. Well, just the one second. Ningependa kwa niyaba ya wanazimio zote kuchukua fursa hii kutua shukrani zote zote kwa wa Kenya kila mahali ambayo walijito Kenya siku ya leo wakaitikia wito wetu na wakafanya maandamano ya kiamani ili tuweze kutakileza ili eh, maslahi yetu na mbua wa Kenya shukrani sana tume hii hii Vita itaendelea. Hii mapambano bado itaendelea. Na wikijayo vile umetangazwa hapa na bwana Wandai tutakuwa tena uwanjani siku ya Jumatano. Shukrani sana. Okay, remain seated please.
Let only camera persons come out, please. Wengine muketi. And please pave way when I injure for that little song. Baba, I 